It has some of the it has iconography. And it has a and plot. It has a, a plot. It's, it's not terribly involved. It's pretty complicated for well, it's just the, compared yeah. to the first one. The princess has been kidnapped on the airship. And right, but it's like the, there's global geopolitics going That's on. True. Like all these towns are getting invaded. The empire is done global some shit. geopolitics. Global geopolitics. Exactly. The yeah, it's, it's as opposed to the local geopolitics. <laughs> Welcome to No One Can Know About This, a podcast where we play every Final Fantasy. I'm Jeff Ekman. And I'm Ryan Kazmiski. And here we go, Season 5, Episode 11. Here we do go. There's a lot that's going to happen this week. Yeah. You know, looking back over all this, I wish they had made this leveling system and stuff better, because they do kind of change up the formula from the first one in ways that might have been sort of satisfying. A little bit fresh and yeah, good. We're about to do a couple, like, boss fights that don't even involve dungeons, and then there's a dun- you know, mm-hmm. it's like... But last week, we beat Castle Dist, mm-hmm. and submerged the egg. Yeah, we put the Haru egg in the birth cavern <laughs> under the cave. So Which was that, full of monsters. Yeah. And yeah, now we gotta go back to Altea to talk to Princess Hilda. And tell her that the dragoons can't help us and that it's all up to just three people because <laughs> no army's we're, left. We're going to have to take care of this. <laughs> so let's do it. It's a new day of gameplay. Oh yeah, that's right. We had ended the entire day. So we're fresh and ready to go. <laughs> Hello and welcome. This is, I think, day seven of our play. Ugh. Final Fantasy 2. We're on our way back to the first town, right? Is that the... Yeah, yeah. The last day of play was just doing the tropical island and then the dungeon, the cashier's mm-hmm. keep. For the rest of the time, I'm going to mistakenly refer to Castle Dist or Dist as... Cashoon's Keep. Well, you know, Dist isn't really a catchy name. No, and the fa- there's just something about the way that it worked where, like, I just got it in my head that that was Cashoon again. I think you just thought everything was Cashoon. That's, did. like, the only name you remembered, so whatever you're thinking of, you just call it Cashoon. <laughs> Seems to be what happened. <laughs> we made it to the end, which was, I remember, a miracle. Mm-hmm. And something else is gonna happen, presumably. Maybe the game will end. We can only hope. God, everyone is so beefed up. Yeah, we leveled up so much. I fucking hate that we're about to go somewhere where Layla's gonna leave us, and then we'll get some other shitty new character. David's bow leveled up. Let me see. Which one is the original town? Is it... It's further to the left? Yeah, it's like down further south to the left. Yeah, it feels kind of nice to be back in this world for a second. For right this you're moment. sure you want to leave the boat that far away from where you're going? Well, I'd have to take it all the way around, like, yeah, Cape... that's true. It's, yeah. What, what do they call it? Cape, what is it? I don't know. Of, of the southern tip of Africa? <laughs> I'm at a loss. I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm not thinking of one on the bottom of South America, am I? I have no <laughs> idea what you're thinking of. <laughs> Someday I'll figure this out. I think I'm trying to think of the Cape of Good Hope. Yeah, yeah, you looked it up and you were, and I was like, oh yeah, I've heard of that. Future me can answer, can answer past me's questions. So we make it back to Eltia. Mm-hmm. Now here we are. Okay, let's talk to some people. Oh, I should have saved. Yeah, that's a good idea, because I think you're about to fight a boss. Oh. The princess has a strange smile, you must have seen it. I haven't. And yeah, back in town, everyone's like, oh, the princess seems different today. Mm-hmm. You should check it out. <laughs> so first I go and save. <laughs> Poor Hiryu. I'm worried. The princess has been eating like a rat lately. Uh, what? What does that mean? Prince Gordon is strong. No, Gordon is a prince? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, no, we did know that. The rebel army welcomes you. Princess looks strange. They did that in the first game where they were like, the king is acting weird. This guy can't even sleep at night. The princess looks odd. Try talking to her. Locked herself in her room. What's with her? Is she in love? <laughs> Princess is acting peculiar. Peru. So Gordon's here on the throne. All the dragoons were annihilated. Man, nothing's working out in this game. Nope. Gordon has become ruler after the king's death. All right, princess. Talk to me. So Hilda's in, like, her room off to the side. Mm-hmm. And she's gonna start acting very strangely. I need to talk to David. Well, you found him. Uh... Is she... Is that the rest of our it, team? I, I guess. Like, leaving David alone with the princess? She went over to the bed, and now she's saying, come here. Yeah, everybody else leaves, and David is alone with the princess, who's on the bed, going, come hither. He wants... what? 
She's like, hurry up, I'm waiting. I, man, I wonder if there's anything this sexual in any other NES game. I can't, th- I mean, I, there probably is, but it's just kind of shocking. Well, wasn't that game Custer's Revenge on the NES or something? That couldn't have been on the NES. I don't, there's I don't no know There's no way that was on about. the NES. That was like, a, it. it's a famous Atari porn game. Oh, okay, no, that was With, not on the NES. Yeah, I think it was Atari. Well, because I know Nintendo like, is like Congress super... talked about it. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh man, I'd love to just like see a movie about all the video games Congress has talked well, about. Well, this and is you're like just gather all the clips. A racist oh, porn God. game that oh, came God. out on Atari. <laughs> this isn't quite at that level. No. <laughs> what? Uh, I think she is trying to seduce us. She totally is. She's waiting. Gulp. What the hell? You aren't Hilda. What a weird twist. <laughs> Correct. Prepare to die, fool. So our team comes back in? What? Whoa. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck? It was almost like you were going to fight David versus Hilda one-on-one in this scenario, but your team does come back to join you for this. Yeah, this feels very much like in Ghostbusters to me, like when Bill Murray's girlfriend gets possessed by the ghost and then she's like, come here. <laughs> She's like all scary in the bedroom. Right, he's like, okay. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, she's some kind of snake monster with a woman for a top. Mm-hmm. What a design. She does look weird. Yeah, that's not Hilda. God, son of a bitch. All right, there we dead. go. Okay, good. I was like, this can't go on much longer. It right? couldn't possibly. I knew, I knew we were good. Well, I think I got 10,000 gil for that. So yeah, we beat Queen Lamia. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna have to go find the princess. Yeah, where's Hilda? Thanks, Layla. Never underestimate a female, says Keep Layla. That in mind. So, where's the real princess? Says Slam. News! People! There's a tournament at Paramekia, and the prize is Hilda. What? <laughs> a guy runs into the room and announces that Hilda is gonna be auctioned off at some coliseum or something she's getting herself captured just constantly yeah there's no we (laughs) just saved her is no one watching her does she have guards (laughs) we must save her unless she didn't get captured again and what happened was the first time she got captured they put her in a cell with an imposter princess Wait, you're saying that we saved the fake Hilda? Yeah, that it was all a setup, that we got played so that they could have like a mole hell spawn on the inside and then they keep Hilda. That's so complicated. So uh, they've that's, a, kept... that's an actual plot though. Yeah. <laughs> Gordon just ran in. Please, David, you must save the princess. May I help you? I owe it to myself to help. Have you fucking leveled up at all, Gordon? Let's see. He sucks! Is he worse than we left him? No, I think that's about where he was at. This son of he a had like bitch. 150 when we got him or less. So yeah, we trade Layla, who was getting pretty good, for Gordon, mm-hmm. who still sucks just like when we left him. No, he's just where he was at. I fucking Dude, hate that. Layla was so leveled. But I don't like, know. I don't understand so why they can't just point. give you somebody who's leveled to, to the way you are. There's a jail under the arena. The princess may be held there. So we gotta find Paramekia. Mm-hmm. It's south of Kashun. Oh. Well, you've never been there, then. It's a surrounded by a desert with very strong monsters. Oh, good. Well, we can Chocobo it. That's true. It's ju- it's near the Chocobo Forest. So I should go back to Kashun right now. Yeah. I don't know the best way to get there. Man, there's some real juicy comments going on in this Kotaku article. About what? This is, uh, I cannot emotionally prepare for Final Fantasy VII Remake by Tim Rogers. It's some video he made. Uh... Yeah, the top comment is, since he's, he can't emotionally prepare, is, I mean you can, since nothing major will happen in part one. No main characters will die, no climax. So yes, you are prepared to be in awe no for a few climax. hours before you see the to-be-continued screen, because people still want to believe this is a full game. Man, reply to that, dear stupid. It's been 100% <laughs> confirmed for months the game will be a full 60 to 100 hour game. Yes, the plot will only be the Midgar arc, but it is, oh, in every other way, a full game. Oh, God. I mean, I'm glad that 7 Remake came out and we got to play it, but yeah. I am genuinely going to miss comment sections like this. We're going to have to wait until the I, trailer for the next I one. I know. I spent so much time reading this. Response to that. That's just PR speak. If you believed everything <laughs> PR said, then Todd Howard would be a saint for all the stuff he says. 
Uh, LOL, a quote full 60 to 100 hour game could mean 10 to 15 hour main game. Calm with 50 down, plus everybody. hours of side quests. So a game like, say, Spider Man on the PS4 should be beaten in around 15 hours. Jesus Christ. It just, I can't explain it. It fills me with glee to, to read these, like, insanely toxic, just dripping with, like, hatred comments about, like, the game's not even the full game, man. And I'm, like, looking at it going, like, that's permanent, dude. Yeah. You wrote all that out. And, like, your grandkids are going to be able to, like, print off everything oh, you man. wrote. And they're going to read through it and be like, what the fuck? Fuck. What's and wrong by with then, Grandpa? society will force us to do that. I we should we should we force really the should. next generation to read everything. Like this is the first generation is that had the internet. Read what they did, so you can just just don't. Look, I'm suggesting a new kind of Yom Kippur for society. Yom yeah. Kippur is a day in Judaism where you are supposed to fast, and it forgives all your sins from the previous year. I'm suggesting a day where everybody has to read everything they wrote on the internet for the previous year, which might That's take. More than great a idea, but also forgive my ignorance. Then why do why why do we need Jesus oh, if I, all you got to do is fast for it anyway? It's that's great. neither here nor there. It's great, <laughs> but it's fucking great. <laughs> Everybody needs to shut the fuck up and for the main the story. I can't wait to see how disappointed you will be since you're expecting the game to be at least twice as long as Final Fantasy XV's main story. Shit, Final we should have third. kept some of that fucking shit that we just sold, because we were getting Gordon and he's got garbage on him. Whatever. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, yeah, let me... <laughs> I'm like, dude, are you not listening to this? How, how are these comments not enthralling you? <laughs> uh, you have people today still playing Skyrim, so does that mean Skyrim have, it has infinite amount of hours and therefore... And therefore people the are still playing the original FF7. Dot, 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 no. If you truly think a part one of a Final Fantasy game is going to take you 50 to 100 hours for the main story... Oh, I already read that part. <laughs> okay, going to call it now. Less than 25 hours for part one. I would say less than 15. Going to call it now. That's pushing it a bit since they think they have cutscenes that are fairly long. I've oh, had the time. Yes. This guy must feel so stupid. Dear stupid. Well, Final Fantasy VII Remake has come out, and it's well over 15 <laughs> hours, and even the 25 that you so judiciously said you would allow for because you were being kind to the developers. It took were... us at least 55. Yeah, and then on top of that, there's a hard mode playthrough that's totally worth it because it changes the mechanics. You think the developers are just out to fuck you because they hate you, but actually, they want you to play a fun game, and if you can't even appreciate the work <laughs> that they're putting in, then I think you should get fucked and die forever. I'm just kidding. Ryan, this is uh, <laughs> permanent. You want some more? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feed me in a, in a After play. that, replying, dude, cutscenes are not cheaper or easier to make than gameplay. 25 hours of main story oh, plus God. side missions sounds like plenty of game for most people. And while most folks here wouldn't jump to defend a major corporation's desire to capitalize on their products, they would probably jump at the chance to smack down your sense of entitlement. Because they understand that <laughs> yeah, everybody, are every by, one of you has a sense of made by real people that they take time and money and are worth something for that reason. Check me out. <sighs> Check me out, bro. I made it to the Chocobo Forest so that I can grab a Chocobo, make it down into the desert, and get to this goddamn Coliseum. Yeah. Did you make it to the forest? Mm -hmm. Wow. Get over here. Oh, yeah. See is... how fun this is? Yeah. Well, you nailed it. Ah! Got him! Yeah, it's not that bad. Alright. Who are you? So now I got him when I leave. Whee! Oh, I didn't get to do this before. So, it's south of the desert. Should we be making our way through? Look at this desert. This I have desert a feeling so that this desert's supposed to kick our ass until we're good enough to do this. Rather than... I think it's in the desert. I mean, it's right, right past the Chocobo. Oh, this place. This right. place? It could be that. It's gotta be. So we walk into the Colosseum, and it's a big room. And off to the side, there's like a opening in the wall mm -hmm. but that doesn't seem to be anything yeah i think that's just aesthetic so you can imagine you're like in sort of like a enclosure that they're going to open the gate and the lion or whatever is going to run out yeah there's nothing there right oh really that's not a thing why did they make it that way <laughs> no random encounters yeah and like at the top of the stairs we can talk through the bars to the emperor who looks down 
at us. Like, I think presumably there's an audience for this, too, other than the Emperor, but you it's just the Emperor. So, because if this is a competition for right? the Queen, it's a little unclear whether this is specifically just a trap for us. Mm-hmm. Or if there was really a competition. But we uh, entered directly into the arena floor. Yeah, no other competitors around. The Emperor wants us to fight. Fight now, the winner shall have Hilda, Princess of Finn. Oh, so I'm now in an arena. Oh, this is the bad guy, the Emperor. Yeah, we're finally meeting him. Okay, and outcome of that comes okay, yeah. a monster I fight. Got it, that's why they made it that way. Oh boy. Well, here we go. It's a behemoth! behemoth. He looks good. Hey, man. Yeah, this is a pretty good sprite design. Good thing Gordon's here. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna get killed in one hit, right? Uh, it seems extremely likely. Yeah, yeah. get oh, out of here, man. Gordon. So Gordon dies on one hit, but I very quickly kill the behemoth. I, like, I killed him. Everybody's at full health except Gordon, of course. Gordon's never gonna be able to level up because he's never gonna make it through a fight. Well done, come, take your reward. Is he just gonna give us the princess? I guess. Uh, David, you thought I didn't see you, boy. Um... I guess we were in disguise to the Emperor, but he recognized us. I'm- it's unclear how this plays out. I think you're right. I think it's like, we showed up and the Emperor didn't let on that he knew who we were. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we were just gonna be other competitors. But he does know us. He knows it's us. What? Okay. Oh boy. I'm surrounded. And so he sends his dudes after us and throws us in a jail cell. Keep them in jail. Keep them in jail. <laughs> wow, what a game, you know? Yeah. Well, Some... I didn't, I didn't oh, catch shit. You oh, we got a shadow. So we wake up in a jail cell. And luckily, our old friend Paul the Thief <laughs> is walking around. He's we already here to bust us have out. Again, no memory of this guy. <laughs> yeah, we can't, we can't remember him. Paul? Thump, whoosh, boom. He killed the guard. You want to take Paul? Uh, it's only my way of saying thanks. I don't like owing favors. Go, now. Who the fuck is this? He's saying thanks? Who are you? We've hypothetically met this guy before. He said he didn't want to owe favors. When we met him in the Semite cave, like, with all the townspeople, uh... Was he trapped Was he trapped too? too? And we, like, saved him, and then he, like, led the rest of the people back to town? Man, I gotta say, that was not... The impression I got from so that. So now he's paying us back. I think that's right. But like when I sh- <laughs> when 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 I first saw it, I was like, oh, I guess we met up here, and he was here to <laughs> save the prisoners. Yeah, also. but it- no, he he got conscripted into mining mithril, I guess, which doesn't make sense because when we first met him, he was just walking around Altia. Yeah. Well, anyway, Paul's a busy guy. He he's helping <laughs> us out here. Which direction should I go? Uh, I would go to the right trap room. F. Man, this comment section. Yeah, keep it going. And this is why people get so pissy about remakes of old games. Nostalgia is one hell of a drug, and most people are tripping so badly over their expectations that they become unrealistically high. Chill the fuck out. Temper your expectations. Hell, don't expect anything. That way I don't have to listen to to any idiots get bent out of shape when it inevitably isn't the answer to life itself. Wow. (laughs) I was thinking, actually, just today, like, how could we, as a society, begin to instill calming the fuck down? You just have to teach... Or like kids at online etiquette. They don't. There's no etiquette. Like you, that's it. you teach kids not to run around screaming and slapping each other in public. I mean, to be fair to these commenters, uh-huh. I have been that commenter before. <laughs> I mean, I say things sort of like that on this show sometimes. Yeah. It's ha- it's hard. Yeah, we you do. You get caught up in it. And you read some view that just pisses you off about yeah. something that doesn't matter and suddenly it's like important and we're like be vicious we're sitting here going like <laughs> who would ever comment like this on the internet and then we've put out this show for five seasons i just think it's funny especially in video game forums like people act like a bad video game is like a crime <laughs> Like their rights, rights like were a violated. true human rights like, violation. Like someone made them move to the back of the bus. <laughs> you know, like something crazy just happened. But in reality, like a game didn't meet expectations. Yeah, but this is all about a game that hadn't even come out yet. <laughs> and then everyone fucking loved it when it did. God, it's good. You know, like you yeah. have to be taught yeah, you how, to be, you have to be taught how to behave. And there's like, you know, the internet is just like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, should I even go in these doors? Oh, man, I really don't know. So as we're escaping from the Paramekian jail, 
There's a lot of fucking doors. There's so many in this one. It's We've said that before, <laughs> but there's more. They really time. upped the door game. Yeah. I feel like the game is that we have to, because one of them is going to be the way forward. Fuck. This is just fucking asshole Look design. Look at this. Look at this <laughs> dumb screen. There's five <laughs> fucking doors on it. Okay. Elixir. Those are useful. Ethers. Cottage. Nice. Uh, hey, and no encounter in there. Alright, check every door. Yeah. Fuck this. This is just, I mean... You know what this kind of reminds me of is the mermaid's place. Yeah. I mean, we've played some Final Fantasy games with too many doors in a dungeon before. That's a, Maybe too many times. Yeah. It's gotta be this one. Yep. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. Fucking Gordon! Son of a bitch, man! So here we get into a fight, which is very reminiscent of a fight that broke my mind in the first season of this show, <laughs> where a bunch of mages are casting instant death on everybody. Uh. Uh. Oh, and they cast it all. It's death all. They all cast death all every turn. What? Oh my god. What is this fight? We were just saying how we're not outclassed, and then we step on the floor it's too. because we said it. I don't know. I think I read in a few minutes that that fight is just an extremely unlucky party wipe encounter that just exists in the thing that is unlikely to happen to you. And I, I literally think there's nothing you can do about it. They really believe in the philosophy of like, well, sometimes you just have a terrible day. Like, you might get hit by a car. There's nothing you can do about that either. Fuck. You want to try this? I got to Classic, like, that was a repeat of the mage fight in episode four of season one that broke me. Oh, I just don't like it. With rub. So instead of immediately taking on the behemoth, you go and explore in the desert just to see how fucked we are if we try to leave, mm -hmm. since I did save over our save file here. <laughs> yeah. Did you already kill the behemoth? No, I'm trying to get Gordon to level up so we don't just get fucked. Got it. Because I have you changed strategies. Uh-huh. Smart. I also wanted to see how fucked we are, if we can walk out of this place or not. That's an interesting... <laughs> yeah, okay. So you're going... You're taking it back down to Earth. Doing the smart things, making sure that you're on good footing. I'm an idiot. I just don't want us to. I mean, if we save ourselves into a literal corner, like I, I don't have it in me to start it over. I can't. It, you know, like it'll be, a, it'll have to be an asterisk. Yeah. The Colosseum is an interesting dungeon with only one of the three floors containing any monsters, and the boss fight being at the beginning rather than the end. It is very easy to get horrifically unlucky and suffer a party wipe here, but the dungeon is mercifully short. Huh, okay. Just don't forget to save outside. This is a good dungeon to use some of the nice consumable items you've been finding lately since the encounters tend to be so nasty. Fucking Gordon. Horrifically unlucky and suffer a party wipe? Is that like, That's we just got the horrifically unlucky that fight and then they, you know, there's nothing you can do. Why would they put that in there? Just another challenge for you to figure out what how to mean? get it's not, around. There, it's just, it's not gotta, a challenge. You, gotta, you just gotta do it again. No, you gotta figure out what items will protect you from warp. You gotta cast Man, magic defense. Fuck I don't off. fucking know. <laughs> he can't survive anything long enough to level up at this point. I think you can make it through the dungeon. So Gordon still sucks shit, yeah, but we, I decide to just give the dungeon a try, so I go and fight the behemoth. We've been told it's pretty short. And you quickly beat him, and we're in jail now. Yep, walking out of jail again. Very confused about this Paul guy. Yeah, I don't remember Paul. Which Did rooms of these Paul? were worth going in? Um, That chest is just an antidote. Yep, that one. No, it's the one right next to it. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Gotta find out, who the fuck is Paul? Who is Paul, FF2? <laughs> His quote is, I'm Paul, greatest thief in all the world, and they've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. Okay. I Paul, if he'll say that. Paul, oh, also boy. known as Pavel, is a thief loyal to Finn from Final Fantasy II. Finn is, I think, the town. Better at working alone than with others. He is encountered many times where he helps the party. Hilda, are you alright? Take the princess and run. So we find Hilda in the jail. Mm -hmm. 
She's in another cell. Gordon and she run off, leaving the three of us there with our pants around our ankles going, why can't we all run out together? Yeah, can't Gordon leave once we're done with the dungeon? Oh, wait for me. Oh, I wanted to cinematic auto run out of here. That's just the three of you. They left you. Gordon left you. (laughs) What a piece of shit. Oh, thank God. There is a tension to this. That's yeah. the idea? I'm so scared of getting that mage fight again. <laughs> Seriously. I don't think it's a challenge. I think it's to give tension of like, can I make it out? I mean, there's a possibility maybe that just, just something fucked. could get fucked. Because that's how it would be, man. Oh, man. That's how it would be it is, in the dungeons. That's how it would be. So we make it out of the dungeons and back into the throne room and coliseum area. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, bro. So they just left their cast, like, everyone just left. I guess. Well, you get to save when you get out of here. Mm-hmm. You can take it to Cottage if you wanted. So now we gotta walk out of here? Yep. And the fights out here, I think, are gonna... Are we all walking up? Long. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the Chocobo Forest. Okay. Ant Lions. We're in the desert fighting ant lions, which fucked you up a while ago. It was like a barrier that we can now walk through. Yeah, we can... We can. It is one of those barriers I couldn't get through. We're now strong enough. The Ant Leon. <laughs> oh, we're at the stage of the game where every single fight is multiple minutes long. That Cure 5 did nothing. The variance in how much Cure 5 cares somebody is insane. Sometimes it's like 100, sometimes it's like 500. Am I going to this place? I was gonna go get a chocobo just so it'd be easy to go wherever we want. Oh, get... got him. It's really not that hard. Nah, it's just annoying. It's honestly easier than the greens. Yay! I'm going back to Altea? I think so? So on my way back to Altea, I pass Finn Castle, and across the river, there's like a tent now that's Mm -hmm. set up in the woods. I'm like, I gotta see what's in here. Monsters are causing confusion. Now's your chance to break into the castle. No, this is probably where we're supposed to be. Really? You must take back Finn. Oh yeah, Finn. Monsters are causing confusion. I don't realize this in the past, but Princess Hilda is the princess of Finn. Yeah. And she was kicked out of this castle at the beginning before the game. <laughs> and that was the opening crawl. I don't think either of us got that. But yeah, she's And now like, we're finally going to take back Finn Castle. Yeah, and she and Gordon are here. This is like their war tent. Like mm-hmm. they're setting up for the troops to storm Which Finn. Which is pretty cool. It is neat, yeah. Okay. Oh, so these are. this is where Gordon yeah. and the Princess Hill... Oh, oh, well, I guess if we had gone back to Altia, they'd be like, they're in a tent. They'd be like, yeah, they've set up camp across from the castle. David, I can't thank you enough. We're going to try to take back Finn Castle. The Groom. Peru. Wild Rose. It's okay, I'm the real one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, if you say Wild Rose to Hilda, which is the rebellion's password, she'll be like, I'm not a snake monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There is, like, yeah, there's some neat little reactive dialogue moments in the game. I'll give it that much. Hey, Gordon. Attack as long as the castle stands. Leave no foe alive. Dragoon. I love how it was tent on the outside and it's, like, stone. <laughs> yeah, and it's the castle. same exact layout, I think, as the, as the castle the room. Castle room. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go back to Altea and try to pick up Layla. Yeah. So we walk back to Altea to see what's going on over there. Just to make sure that nobody's there. Maybe Layla's there. Who knows? But the town is pretty much abandoned. Oh, nobody's here. They uh, have fully abandoned this place. We didn't need to come back here. But it's okay because we leveled up on those goblins along the way. I mean, maybe we'll just take the castle back and the game will be over. Right? So we walk over to Finn Castle because it's finally time to take this place back. And waiting for us on the first floor is Layla, but on the way we get into another one of those mage fights. Ugh. There she is. Ah! Oh, I just run away from this. Oh, boy. Uh, your frogs. Yay. I've been wanting to get toted. Your frogs? These fucks. We're oh, man. Frogs. We're really confused. How are we going to deal with this? We fled! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we're frogs. Look at us. What happened? That's cool. So we try to use the heal magic that we've got. But we haven't leveled it enough. I mean, god, we should probably have like heal four or five at this point. Seriously. But it just is so hard to get it to go up. It's not high enough level for this. Damn it. How do we care frogs? Maiden's kisses. I just sold a few of those. They were really expensive. Here goes. So we make it through the floor and actually pick up Layla. Mm-hmm. Hey, you guys need me on your side. Dragoon. Do I go straight up or uh, should I explore this floor? I really don't know. You want me to look it up? 
Yes. So this is a weird dungeon where, like, you can explore it while it has random encounters, or as we'll look up, luckily, in time, you can run up to the top of it and fight the boss fight, and then there's no random encounters, and you can explore it freely. Mm -hmm. If you want to, I think you can just take the stairs straight to the boss. Maybe they ran out of time and all these last dungeons aren't finished. But as soon as we say that, we run into another really fucked up fight. Whoa! Uh, don't... Okay. <laughs> yeah, then we walk into an encounter where everybody just gets petrified. Instantly, all four of us. I Of all the Final Fantasy games we've played, I have not seen shit this bananas <laughs> laid, laid on this thickly. So I, I guess just don't get in that fight? I don't, I don't even know what to do about that. What kind of shit was that? Fuck that chest. Like... <laughs> this is the dungeon. So we try it again, and luckily this time we make it up to the top where the emperor is without getting any into any like instant kill it's not fights. Not the emperor. Or, or, who is it? This is a guy named Godus. Oh, <laughs> I, my mistake. Sorry. <laughs> where at we the meet top of this Godus. tower, yeah, is He's Godus. sitting in a throne. He is. <laughs> so here we are, I guess. All right. Rebels, Gur says Godus. <laughs> President of the United States. <laughs> Whoa, look at him. He's cool. You think well, he's I don't know why spot? Layla joins you at zero HP, though. I don't know why it had her standing up when she had zero HP, either. She was fine until maybe she got hit once. Really strange. I beat Commander Gotus. It's been a long time coming. Gotus is a pushover, and I don't even know what he was. Did it just teleport me to the beginning of the room? Room or dungeon? I don't think this is what the start of the dungeon looks I like. I think it teleported us to the beginning of the room. Why would it do that? I don't know. It did that because it needed to, like, populate the room with a bunch of NPCs that you can now talk to. Right. The reason this is better to explore after you beat the Emperor is now it's been taken back. Or Godus. Or Godus. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, when you beat Godus. It's now been taken back. So it's safe. There are many repairs to be done. Oh, so maybe now breaks. you can just walk on, around on all the floors. Tell me that's the case. Because yeah. then I can get everything I want. Hello, we've restored the king and the queen. At last, Finn is ours again. Yeah, Hilda and Gordon are here. Yeah, and now with Finn taken back, we hear that Min has mysteriously disappeared while he was on a different errand. There is yet more adventure for us to undertake. We're going to have to go to the magic land. <laughs> I'm worried about Min, though. He hasn't returned since he left for Mysidia. Learn Mysidia. Where the fuck is Mysidia? Mysidia is a magical place. Their power may be useful against the Empire. Mysidia, isn't that a word we've seen? I think it is. It was it in like the fourth one? Was that the magic? No, that was like a magic library. Mysidia is very familiar to me. Yeah, we have seen Mysidia in Final Fantasy IV. It's like a wizard magic town. So Where you that's Palam and Porum. Yeah, I think there, it's in other games we haven't played yet. It'll always be like a wizard town. I think is the idea. Where? However, Mysidia Tower is sealed by Where? a magic barrier. You'll need two masks to break it. We got one, right? Mask. We got one of them. Yeah. Now we know what the black mask we got is for. It's something next. <laughs> yeah, it's the next item loop. Okay, say mask. The white mask was hidden in the basement of this castle. This chant will open the basement door. Oh, cool. Ikum. Wow, we're just learning so many words. So many words. Yeah, there's a lot to learn in this part of the game. They unlock, like, ha I guess the rest of the words that you're going to need. Yeah, I think we're entering sort of like the final loop. Big loop. Yeah. Ikume. I'm sorry, but I don't know where the door is. Oh, fuck. Finn Castle was safe thanks to you. We're forever in your debt. By the way, Min still hasn't come back yet. Could you go to Mysidia? Okay, I've already learned that. In Mysidia Tower, the ultimate magic, Ultima, is oh, hidden. Oh, shit. This connects up to that nonsense the Haru was saying. <laughs> he was saying Richard the Dragoon went to find Ultima. Mm-hmm. Learn Ultima. Ultima. It must feel good to help defeat the Empire. Paul must know more about this castle. Where is he? Paul's got a house in town. Mm -hmm. We've explored it before. But he wasn't there because the town was taken. Exactly. So now everyone's back at home. Well, that learn mechanic is really, like, it's under layers, you know? I know. I think it's kind of, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Oh, if we can now walk around this place easily. Maybe we can. Like, yay. Yeah, aren't you glad you didn't do all this? Yes, I'm very glad I didn't do this on the way up. If we succeed, peace will return. This is Finn's second floor. No shit. <laughs> Throw away this thread? Yeah. Aura. Monsters appear. Oh. 
So we're going around picking up all the treasures we didn't get on the way up, mm -hmm. since there's no random encounters. But, unfortunately, there's still monsters in all these boxes. You're gonna have to beat them to get the treasure. Mm -hmm. Shit. Oh, these guys are... I haven't saved. Right, I haven't saved. I know. Oh, I know. This fight sucks, too. Oh, great. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Everyone's paralyzed. I thought I was just, just gonna open a chest. Now I'm cursed? This is quite a fuck. fight, man. Like, I haven't been able to do anything. Like, you you don't even have a chance I don't, to do like, this shit. This could go on forever. They're barely damaging you, too. God damn it, dude! Yeah, you don't it's put in an input. It's three guys casting Paralyze All. Yeah, like, there's nothing you can do. I don't know what they thought you should do. Oh! This is impossible. It, it may literally be maybe the most ridiculous fight we've run into yet. In a unique way. Yeah, you know? no, I agree. This is... And there's it's not like there's anything we can do either. It's just gonna take like 30 minutes to die. Oh, at what point do we reset? In a minute. Ah! Oh, now no, they're, they're just casting, casting death. death. That's what, how we'll get out of this. Well, this fight went by without an input, and I didn't save. That's three party wipes this episode alone. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. And not like hard fights that we lost. Like fights we went into and didn't get to put in an input <laughs> and just got wiped. <sighs> it's time to go get Layla in our party and fight Gotus yeah, again. Yeah, we have to do all that shit all over again. Get in the party. Now I gotta go learn all those fucking words. Gotus. Alright, <laughs> Gotus. <laughs> We're at the part of the game where most of it is easy, except for the parts that kill you instantly. Long ago, pandemonium had appeared. Monsters rushed in, put that magic <laughs> on their attack. This spell may once again save our people. She's talking about Ultima? Mm-hmm. Ultima, Meteo, and now I'm gonna walk out and save. Right, me, yeah. And then I'm gonna come back up and explore. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of hidden passageways and stuff. So glad I didn't explore this up front. Oh, let me also check out that town. <clears throat> yeah. So we make it back to where we were and we go explore the town of Finn. Hey, no more assholes. We regained Finn with your help. My family will help in the fight. Have Big you been place. To Paul's house? I wonder what kinds of stolen treasure are in there. I love this town that's like, welcome to our town, home of the world's greatest thief. Like, we all know who he is and Paul's where he house. lives. He's, yeah. I think Paul is a proto-treasure hunter, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, and it seems like he, he uh, exclusively hunts in the Empire. Mm -hmm. like he goes right, he's a Robin Hood. We've won the battle, but the war is far from over. We need Fuck. much more power to defeat I wanted to the hear. Emperor. We need much more power. We are in great debt to you. And the NPCs in this town have a bunch of little shit to say that's really fun, one of which is a nice little wink to the first game. Warriors, revive the power of the orbs! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> I love that Slam actually tells this person to shut up yeah. about the orbs. <laughs> I, f I feel like, I can't remember exactly, but in the first game there must have been so many people saying just this to you. <laughs> like, revive the power of the orbs, revive the power of the orbs. He's like, shut up. <laughs> what a right. wink! What a wink. It's a good one. I'm gonna see about some weapons in here. Let's... I'm carrying too much to buy anything. Do I really need to hold on to the fucking ice sled, man? I don't think it'll let you get rid this of it. This fucking pass. Like, come on. Yeah, I hate this situation we're in now where there's so many key items. I don't think Quartz is in this guy. <laughs> Ugh. Is Quartz diamond? Could be? Anyway, we upgrade our gear a little bit. Mm-hmm and head to Paul's house. Hey, Paul. David, sup? Sup. Ultima. Akume. Finn's hidden door? What's inside, you ask? The white mask. I don't know much about that, but I'll tell you what I do know. Check the upper right corner. Yeah, and Paul tells you that to get the white mask, we gotta go back to the top of Finn Castle and go into the back right corner of the room. Hilda told us to go talk to Paul, who told us to go back to Hilda it's in the this same game's room. It's favorite thing. You go to one person who tells you to go back to the other one. That's a good piece of clue. What else you got in here? Can I sleep in your bed? This is his barrel room. <laughs> And that's episode 11 of season 5, if no one can know about this. We're getting there. We the, the, the train is up and running. 
Can you feel the momentum? The momentum's huge. I'm actually feeling it. And I didn't back then. We're, we gotta go back through the secret door that's at the top of Finn Castle to go get the white mask. And then, and then we're gonna it, find Min and Mysidia. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be next week. But yeah, what I, we did a ton this time. We yeah, fought Gotus three was times. Like action but like, packed. We did well, a lot. It was action packed until we fought Gotus three times. That's true. But, <laughs> and yeah, some like interesting structural stuff in this part where mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, I gotta give him credit design wise for this because at this point it's like, man, you are fucking sick of going to the bottom of a dungeon and right. fighting a boss. Mm-hmm. And here they kind of give you like a reprieve. You fight the boss first and then you go through a dungeon that's not very long. Yeah. Like, you know, like with the prison and then you go and mm-hmm. you just fight. You, you... There's a lot of cool story yeah. that's happening. Mm-hmm. We're leveled enough for it. For the most part, yeah. Other than the enemies that you just can't win, that there's no strategy. <laughs> they but still have that in there. I feel like that's a hallmark of the series to an extent. Like you'll run into an enemy that like mm-hmm. you need like some very specific strategy to beat, but in this one, like many encounters <laughs> are impossible. So far. you know what I mean. Like it's happened a lot. The fact that we in like quick succession got both the instant death spell from all mages and then the other one from like the golden zombies that cast Petrify. I mean, that's been happening since, like, two or three dungeons ago (laughs) that enemies will just cast... I mean, Petrify is another step, but the other right. bad shit is Paralyze All. Paralyze All like, has been happening. Like, but that's the, been but happening the, the whole game. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting through it. I hope everyone out there is getting through it. Oh, before we go, do you want to check in with the copy boy and see if he's got any messages for us? Absolutely. Copy boy, come on in. Copy boy. Well, this week, wow, it looks like he's got a little air compressor hooked up to about a dozen kazoos all over his body. My goodness, this one's a delight. <laughs> I love a good kazoo. Even better when there's a dozen of them at one time. Yeah, it sounds great. Thank you so much, copy boy, for this message. Give it to me. Thank you. Why does he hold on to it like that? Like, make me pull it from his hand all the time. I don't know. He's a little threatening. (laughs) Okay, so the message reads, Hi, guys. Long-time listener, first-time caller. I'd like to give a COVID shout-out to my best friend, Andrew D., to let him know that even though COVID has kept us several states apart for months, gaming and chatting with him has helped keep me sane. As always, your pain is my gain. Enjoying the season, but sorry for what you went through. Smiley face, Sean B. I always love a good personal message. Yeah. And yeah, I know right now gaming is like more vital than ever. I feel like uh, Mm -hmm. people who aren't into it or getting into it finally realizing like you can be together and apart. Yeah, it's a great time to reconnect via the online portals. Get out there. Start a Minecraft world. Abandon your real life. Play some JRPGs with your friends via the internet. Uh, thank you so much, Sean B. Mm-hmm. And, okay, take that one away, copy boy. No, oh, we've got a second message. Yes, give it to me, please. Thank you. The second message reads, Hey, do you like Final Fantasy? Well, if you don't, you might be listening to the wrong podcast. But if you do, I'm willing to bet that you might like other role-playing games as well. Maybe Dungeons & Dragons? If that's the case, head over to Paging Through the Core Rulebook at corerulebook.wordpress.com. There you can find more homemade content for the world's most popular role-playing game than you can shake 1d6 points of bludgeoning damage at. New content at least once a week available for your home game all for free. The link to donate for additional content is on the website and commission requests are open if you're looking for something truly unique to bring to your table or to torture your players. I won't judge. Material for more systems is planned for the future. I look forward to having you at my table, Ben Erickson. Awesome. Yeah, I know whenever I'm running a game, I'll, like, poke around on the web and just, like, gather ideas. Yeah. Having some extra content can really, like, push your game to another level. Like, way better than just, like, the core stuff in the book. Like, a table of, you know, staffs and items. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, having some, you know, maybe some puzzles, maybe some modules to run through, maybe some characters. So go to paging through the core rulebook at corerulebook.wordpress.com if you like D&D and Final Fantasy. And I hope you like this podcast, too. I assume you do if you like Final Fantasy. Yeah, then you should like D&D. If you don't, it's just because you haven't played it yet, and you should go play it and or then you, go to this website exactly. and check out their original content. Exactly. 
So thank you so much, Ben, for that message. Take this message away, copy boy. What a silly suit. Anyway, if you're interested in a copy boy message, just email nocappodcast at gmail.com. Messages are $25 each. We do payments through PayPal. Mm -hmm. So just get in touch with us and we can read whatever you want us to stay. Yeah, I mean, it can be an advertisement or it could just be a personal message to someone or, you know. whatever. You get creative. A piece of classic literature, but not too long. It, yeah, we want to keep it to keep like it a paragraph or two yeah. at most, but like, it could be of your favorite passage. We can read the Bible. <laughs> Put your damn words in our mouths. Make us read the Bible <laughs> um, for $25. Uh, and a uh, big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Yes, thank you so much to the people who support us there. We're hard at work making more bonus content, trying to make the Patreon an exciting thing to be a part of so mm-hmm. that you can actually get some value for your support. If you do want to support us, go to patreon.com slash nocat, and there you can find the video version and t-shirts and mugs and such. And playthroughs of Crisis Core and Dirge of Cerberus. And more. And more. Remember when we did that bonus episode about the prison ice cream where we made ice cream? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But you can we go did that. get that on the Patreon mm-hmm. still now. Choco betting. We All of it's out there. Friends over to play Chocobo betting. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, rate and review us on yes. Apple Podcasts. Tell your friends about the show. Mm-hmm. Get in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter and whatever. Uh, uh, at no cat podcast yeah the, twitch yeah we're on we we play some games on twitch twitch.tv slash no cat podcast uh let's be done with this let's do it uh here's your dessert enjoy uh, i'm looking at this nickel it's like really shiny it's reflecting the light it says in god we trust with who is this thomas jefferson on this nickel I don't know, I think so. Yeah. And if I shake it back and forth like this, it really looks, it's like rave in God we trust. Like da 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 That's where we're at, everybody. da 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 Like his face turns from complete white to black. Where the fuck am I, dude? God damn it.